Now, a day after witness number 220 in the Maligam blast case of 2008 claimed that he had been forced to name BJP and RSS leaders as suspects in the blast case, it was an all-out war between the Bharatiya Janata Party and the Congress. In fact, UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath went so far as to ask for an apology saying that the Congress deliberately tried to browbeat people to create a false case only in order to create a narrative of saffron or Hindutva terror. आपने महाराष्ट्र एटीएस का एक बयान देखा होगा उस समय कैसे भारतीय जनता पार्टी के कार्यकर्ताओं को नेताओं को राष्ट्रीय स्वयंसेवक संघ के नेताओं को हिंदू नेताओं को कैसे लोग झूठे मुकदमों में फंसाने का कार्य कर रहे थे आपने मालेगांव विस्फोट के मामले में देखा होगा पहले जब सत्ता में थे तब उन आतंकियों को प्रेरित और प्रोत्साहित करते थे और हिंदू संगठनों पर झूठे मुकदमे दर्ज करते थे now, the BJP has claimed that the witness testimony deflates the entire te saffron terror bogey that was floated by the Congress during the UPA era. The opposition, on the other hand, sees it as another attempt to try and dilute the case altogether. Conspiracy against the Hindus. Hinduon ki khilaaf shadiyantra. Aap soch ke dekhiye, sadhu santon ko, mathon ko, Uttar Pradesh ke mukhya mantri ko, बदनाम करने के लिए भगवा को बदनाम करने के लिए किसी भी हद तक जाएंगे जब उत्तर प्रदेश का चुनाव नजदीक आता है तभी योगी आदित्यनाथ जी का नाम मालेगांव ब्लास्ट से क्यों जोड़ा जाता है या उस पर चर्चा क्यों होती है या इस तरह से कोई विटनेस होस्टाइल क्यों होता है 2017 में भी इसी तरह से हुआ था You're watching the News Hour at 10, debate number two on Times Now, Super Prime Time. The question, though, that remains is will we ever get to the bottom of the Maligaon blast probe? The fact is that the blast did take place, people were killed in it. Will the accused go scot free? And who will decide what the truth of Maligaon is? Joining us, Rajiv Pandey, spokesperson of the BJP, Ratan Sharda, author, Kamar Zaman Chaudhary, leader of the Congress. And my first question is to political analyst, advocate Abhishek Sudhir. Here you have a witness who himself is saying that he didn't even write any of the things that he was forced to eventually say. The ATS was cooking up the case. Who's behind the cooking up? Well, we all know that the lead officer in charge was a national hero, Hemant Karkare. Uh, who lost his life, uh, I think, in 2006-11. Uh, so I really don't want to comment on Mr. Karkare because he's a national hero. I have read parts of the record of the case. It's a long and complex trial, Padmaja. What he says is that he was tortured, much like what Pragya Thakur has said, that she was tortured by Hemant Karkare. Hmm. And then he seems to suggest that I was told to name these five people, but then when it came to court, you know, when I was asked to sign a statement, these five names were not there. This happened in 2008. Today, on December 29, 2021 he says that yes this has happened i was tortured so the court asked him why did you not raise a complaint then why mm -hmm. did you not go to the nhrc they said no he said no i was afraid of political pressure but we all know the political dispensation has changed in 2014 so i don't know why seven and a half years after mr modi came to power this is coming out okay. I, the timing is suspicious the timing okay. is suspicious. rajiv pandey the timing is suspicious and start with the specific question. When you raise questions about the ATS's conduct, you are besmirching or rather this witness is besmirching a national hero like Hemant Karkar. First of all, I would like to remember Tukara Mombleji who sacrificed, uh, busted the theory of saffron terror. You know, because of his sacrifice, uh, Kasab was uh, arrested alive. Otherwise, they had a foolproof plan. Congress had a foolproof plan that we will link this Malay 2008 blast with the 2611 blast. Hmm. And you have seen that how the Vijay Singh has behaved like this. Hmm. So I salute him for his sacrifice that he saved Hindus from this Hindu terror theory. That was my first statement. Second point, he's saying timing, I'll tell you. 2008 blast took place. Maharashtra Congress government, Center Congress government. Till 2000. 14, at both the places, the uh, government was led by Congress party and in Maharashtra it was Congress NC. I wish to state what you were doing. Within 90 days, you have to file charge sheet. 
why in even after in UAPA, even if you have the accent extended mm. up to 180 days, then till what you were doing for six years because they were knowing fully well that they have made a cooked up story, mm. and that's why now this case is falling flat. Mm. And one thing I wish to state: once charge sheet is filed, then it is a matter of between courts and accused lawyer. Mm. Third point, which they are saying that uh, it is timing. You know, in 2016, supplementary charge sheet was filed. 2018, cognizance was taken, and now this special court, which is formed under the NIA Act, mm. is taking this ca uh, case day to day basis. So that you explains the timing, say, Abhishek Sudhir. Now what? Should, should today, the should they, the they are so you are basically saying that the witness we wanted to turn hostile should have turned hostile before 2014. There should be a trial as quickly as possible in this kind of cases. Hmm. If he is taking day to day case, we should be we should appreciate that judge. All right. So here that you got the timely point. timeline, Abhishek Sudhi. Now you still have questions about the timing. Yes, see, Colonel Purohit, when he came out, he went to the media, gave interviews. I don't think there was any fear in this witness's mind. Why should there be any fear? The winds, the political winds of change had set in. So Hindu terror was a kosher. You couldn't talk. No, about so Hindu equally, terror. I can argue that you know you're the same witness. He would have been you know devoid of all fear. Come 2014, why did he wait till 2021? So I didn't quite understand your timing argument. My thing is, why has he not? If you're saying forever? this statement is manipulated by the BJP government, they would have manipulated in 2014. I look, Padmaja. I am only here as in my capacity as an advocate. Let me tell you, under the Indian Evidence Act, a witness like this, his credibility will be questioned. Huh. You know, when you keep changing your story, when you become a hostile witness, Padmaja, can I respond as a lawyer? This is very low. No, That's no, sir. We are, we, you know, both of you, you and Rajiv Pandey are both lawyers. The rest of us are not. The problem, though, is that this ceased to be a legal case very early on, and it became openly political, and which is why we are talking here about the politics of this case. Here is a witness who is saying that I was not just tutored, I was coerced into naming people, which is why one has to ask about the political ramifications, Kamar Zaman Chaudhary. You know, today if you are saying the BJP is influencing the NIA, equally one can be asked, how do we know the UPA didn't influence the NIA before 2014? Matlab, aapke probe ekdam swach. 2014 ke baad ke sare probe unpe vishwas nahi kar sakte. Padmaja, you have got some things correct today. At least uh, nobody, nobody, nobody destroyed the Babri Masjid. The court also pronounced. Then nobody, uh, Sir, nobody. Please, can uh, we please uh, stick to the topic? Uh, you know, we always get into this random in rhetorical Masjid. debate, so or it's not even a debate, clear, random clear rhetorical similarity. rant, and then the debate is lost. Today, if your best argument against this witness you are is me, that you are I'm not taunting you, to, uh, I am requesting you. When you say that the investigation during the UPA time was biased and during the India time was not biased. So that's why I had to bring out this analogy between the two incidents. I'm not now saying that at the least. I am questioning your argument. Today your argument is, oh, this witness is influenced by the BJP, so he's turning hostile. The NIA is influenced by the BJP, so they are derailing the probe. My question is, to if this. today's NIA is politically motivated, then okay. how are we to believe that your time NIA was absolutely sticking to the rule book? Okay, let me just point out some very clear facts before you. There are 268 witnesses in this horrific incident in Malegao, which occurred in 2008. Out of these 268 witnesses, 15th witness as on date have turned hostile against the prosecution. They said, we don't know whatever has happened. Now the question that has been raised out here is the role of Avina Bharat a known right-wing fascist organization to which some of those accused belong to or were subscribing to their ideology. Hmm. Now, when Colonel Purohit, he used his army intelligence unit to track Abhinav Bharat uh, in, in, in uh, different cases, then Colonel, uh, this Colonel Purohit, he was also framed 
इन केसेस ऑफ दिस नेचर इन द मालेगांव ब्लास्ट केस एमंग अदर एक्यूज लाइक वी हैव गॉट द प्रज्ञा ठाकुर केस हु वाज आल्सो एक्यूज नाउ शी इज इन बेल ऑन हेल्थ ग्राउंड्स बट वी कैन वेरी वेल सी इट शी प्लेइंग क्रिकेट ऑन द ग्राउंड दैट्स अनदर इशू ऑलटुगेदर नाउ द फर्स्ट विटनेस दैट टर्न हॉस्टाइल वाज द फर्स्ट हॉस्टाइल हॉस्टाइल विटनेस वाज इन अगस्त 2021 नाउ देयर आर क्वेश्चंस टू बी रेज्ड व्हेन द चार्जेस वाज फ्रेम्ड इन 2018 बाय Uh, by the court by the nia court the the one of the one of the victims father he requested the nia court okay. to take the help of the maharashtra ats in probing this incident father or taking uh, some uh, some right. what is your point from maharashtra sir? ats that was not taken now it is for the judge since this is a the point out here is 2021 August, the first witness turned hostile. Okay. Elections to Uttar Pradesh is in 2022. Okay. We find an uncanny similarity between the two because Abhinav Bharat, that that terror organisation okay. that the Hindu Dwa groups belong to, they are the prime accuser in this case. Okay, wait. Let me get Now, in Ratan Sharda. Let me get in Ratan Sharda. If you can find that the hostiles are turning witnesses. Okay. There are So witnesses are turning hostile to benefit the BJP in Uttar Pradesh. So All right. One witness, just out of curiosity, just out of curiosity, Mr. Chaudhary, how does difference. the witness stand to gain? Is he contesting the elections in Uttar Pradesh? Is he getting a ticket in Uttar Pradesh? Is he going to fight the Uttar Pradesh election? No, 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 no. Or he is just a fan are of are Mr. Are Modi and Mr. Yogi. An incident? No, 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 no. An incident. no a witness a witness or an incident happening in some some other state like in kerala or in assam okay. or maybe let's say bengal has got direct ramifications okay ramifications ratan sharda because the, ratan sharda the, so the this whole victimization this narrative in uttar pradesh and the fact that yogi adityanath name has holders. cropped up here the witness says not only was i coerced i was coerced to name among other people yogi adityanath UP connection they can keep on trying to talk about timing of the witness and all that but who created this timing delaying the charge sheet delaying the case from 2006 to 2014 hmm. appointing one agency against the other so there is ats they bring in ni all under epa both governments belong to the same congress who started the narrative mr sharad pawar the hero of opposition in 1993 Said there is another bomb blast, which is a fake story. Hmm. So she is a kid. It's a fake story to create a Hindu terror narrative in 1993, and from 2006, the, the attacks kept on increasing because Congress was never interested in stopping terror attacks. It was interested in framing RSS hmm. Hindu, condemning them, abusing them. This exercise started from the time it said 1993, and you talk about the about Karna Prohit. Colonel Prohit was on pay, army payroll till now from that very day. Army believed his story. This government did not because he was he was on duty, but the government put him in bars using the Hindu terror. So this entire game plan of creating terror narrative, we have to look at the entire story right from that time. Hmm. Home Minister says RSS gives terror training. Uh, Chidambaram says RSS gives terror training. Dikvijay says Karkare talk to me. If they knew all this. they should be hauled up in the court so and asked fact. them how did you create this story where was the evidence if they had no evidence hmm. they bossed up the entire case two agencies talking as each other letting pakistan off the hook and letting the real terror suspects off the hook what they did they frame poor innocent muslim hmm. they frame poor hindu uh, hindus and they created a narrative of hindu terror abhishek sudhi that fight to the world abuses hindus today hmm. and they are going to counter balance their muslim terror with hindu terror abhishek sudhi padma ji why would a national uh, ex home minister attach uh, says uh, the, you know how digvijay singh why there is no hindu okay abhishek sudhi uh, yeah, contradicting I'm, you yes yeah why would a national hero like hemant karkare lay down his life no, see, right on 26 11 and then frame pragya thakur sorry sorry just because by adding that national hero emant karkare you are trying to say he is not a national hero propaganda are you saying that his sacrifice was in vain are you saying his sacrifice no, means nothing because emant karkare tried to are you saying somebody who laid down his life for this country actually framed hindus karkare because he was are you saying emant karkare was not a hindu no 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 mr sudhi mr sudhi just a second this is not about mr karkare this is about the facts at hand over here
प्लीज आंसर एंड स्टिक टू द फैक्ट्स एट हैंड वी डू नॉट स्पीक एल ऑफ द डेड एंड वी डेफिनेटली डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू मिस्टर करकरेज यू नो एंटीसीडेंट्स एक्सेट्रा जस्ट स्टिक टू द इश्यू प्लीज Pragya Thakur said Hemant Karkare tortured her. So by implication, she is saying Hemant Karkare uh, implicated her falsely. Ratan Sharda is endorsing that. So Ratan Sharda is saying a man who laid down his life for the nation implicated. Okay, I'll let I'll let Ratan Sharda answer that and bring in Rajiv Pandey then. Yes. Did Hemant Karkare implicate? Why should not a person who was tortured be believed? Why Colonel Purohit, with all the X-rays, all the reports, not be believed? Why do Pragya you believe Thakur that? Believe do that you they believe were Pragya Thakur? So this torture of witnesses, torture of the accused is nothing new for this time. Do you Pragya believe Pragya Thakur? Well, well, so with with due respect, Mr. Sudhir, she, she has as much a right. to uh, you know set her case to put down her case and put out her side of the story yes. and we are no one to sit in judgment on mr karkare so we will She's just stick to the fact the as does this particular witness who has now said that i too was coerced the fact though is rajiv pande and which is what asuddin ovesi is asking today the fact is that the blast did take place so if yes. everything was a narrative to create the hindu Mother. terror bogi then who did the blast padmada ji ask congress party take one thing is uh, uh, facts clear that sadhvi pragya singh bail is on bail not because of her health <laughs> issues nine times her uh, bail application was rejected on the basis of health issues which we are fine so let's not go into that debate now you are saying what uh, uh, asaduddin ovaisi is saying that blast has taken place yes blast has taken place but the issue is congress was blind because of their personal vested investigation hmm. so the real culprit is out if i read this today the deposition of the witness it shows that they had made up a no no uh, a case story so like a charge they want the to fit in of the witness. honorable indresh ji they I, wanted to fit in I, yogi adityanath ji they wanted to fit in sunil devdar ji they wanted to fit uh, asimanand ji arun kaka did not plan so the bicycle of pragya thakur in the manikam blast side so saying while they are saying why congress no, no, did so no, no, my response is congress was sliding this country they realized that people will uh, vote them out so they started this theory he let us make a villain and get the whole uh, and block one vote and make a hindu terror theory and i don't know there may be because i remember kamar zaman choudhary uh, rahul gandhi ji once said that we are not having problem with the laskar e toiba and jem and all hmm. so there may be yeah. some padma ji direction by fact. the international okay serious charge or serious charge and let me remind you kamar zaman choudhary that this is not the first time such a charge is being made it has been made in the samjhauta blast case as well that the actual accused the pakistani accused were let go because the upa government or the investigating agencies against the then upa government were more interested in framing certain yes. indians it's been said about yes. samjhauta blast and it's being said now about the malegaon blast kamar zaman choudhury are we are we discussing the malegaon or the samjhauta blast no no are you discussing the malegaon blast or the samjhauta i'm blast? discussing samjhauta i'm discussing malegaon blast but i'm just reminding you to just because of a and theory that you have manufactured just now or your panel has manufactured just now the congress party just tell me one answer was pragya thakur's motorcycle recovered from the blast site yes or no second point was abinav bharat a prime cause of investigation during this entire maliga blast who is abinav bharat what is their role in the uh, in the context of 2008 9 or actually this period? witness they wanted to form a political that the role party. of abinav bharat uh, by the way he is one of the political party abinav bharat yes, and he has said in the please. same statement that abinav bharat was training young men to join the indian army yes so the role of the abinav bharat has been described by him so but of course so you now your that. your entire debate goes for a toss this particular witness which has been put up by the prosecution he has got his vested interest he is a politically so and a vindictive why, person who he has he got his interest witness. in making what a hindu talking? rashtra their abhinav bharati my motto is to make a hindu rashtra the congress oh. stands in between that Congress stands in in favor of a secular okay, nation. Okay, so if this is now such a now when these people they wanted okay, to build so up the body, that the Muslims are taking over the Hindus in India. Just a second, just a second. If this man is such a bigot and he is totally untrustworthy, we didn't make them a bigot. 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 We
Why did the NIA make a bigot into a witness? Ma'am, ma'am, when was when was the NIA? Because the ATS, yes, you are right. When did the NIA came into being, madam? When did NIA came into being? To make this theory, no. Maharashtra ATS, but the but the charge sheet was filed in 2018. Ma'am, you correct. Get your facts correct, please. These people who are blabbering on your panel right now, please ask them to get their facts correct. Okay. The, the, the actually answer, Ratan Sharda, wasn't the motorcycle, sorry, the scooter the registered in Sadhvi Pragya's name also found at the site found of in the 2018. blast. 2018. Those facts cannot disappear, Ratan Sharda. Is it not a fact that the, the scooter was not used by her for two years? And the terrorists would be foolish to use a registered scooter that is not available in Bangar. It is available. People who do terror act, they know about it. My question is, why did Congress reward terrorists with with, uh, with assembly tickets, Indian Lies hijackers were made a leader by U by UP Congress. They were given tickets under the. Uh, you under have made a terror request in MP Ratanji. Ratanji, that is the hypocrisy of the entire case. You are getting exposed the more you speak. Pragya Thakur, a prime accused in the Malegaon blast case, has been made an MP by the Bharatiya Janata Party. Yes, that's what I'm asking you. We can't be more shameful, shameful for Indian democracy. Ratanji, please. Leaders of UP Congress, and they were convicted. Pragya Thakur, they were caught with being on the train, on the plane, and hijackers. Okay, you know, you know why? You know, irrespective of such cases or such. Or such witness statements are going to be painted as politically motivated or politically timed by whichever side which is inconvenienced by it. The tragedy though is that just like the Samjhota blast case where also there was a parallel testimony which came up suggesting that in fact it was a Pakistani national who had bombed the Samjhota Express. Now with this witness turning hostile or the NIA asking for him to be branded hostile, will this case also fall between the cracks with two governments and two parties both alleging that the investigating agency is politicized under the other's rule. Let's hope not. For the time being, thank you very much all gentlemen for having joined me on the show. Thanks so much.